Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first video of mine that you've clicked on. Today I am introducing a new project pan. It is my 13 by Halloween. Um, today is the 2nd of July when I'm filming this but I marked the products on the 30th of June. So my plan is that there will be, in terms of the markings, um, I will update them on the 31st of July, 31st of August, 30th of September with the finale being the final markings on Halloween obviously. So that makes this a four month project um, and I am hoping to finish all 13 of these items before Halloween. So fingers crossed we can do it and let's get on into seeing what I've set for myself here. The first item and probably one of the biggest goals is to finish a lipstick within four months. Now, I have never actually finished a lipstick within a project pan and um, even last year I had a lipstick that was probably about half used when I put it into the project and I didn't quite finish it within the year and um, I've still got a tiny bit left that I actually could finish and it could be my first ever lipstick that I've actually used up but it's not happened yet so I don't know if I'm going to manage this one but it is one of the Colourpop lippy sticks so they are less damage of product than a normal bullet lipstick would be so I'm hoping that that will be on my side we've got four months um, and it's the shade I'm wearing today so it's called Who Run This it's not brand new it's one of my favourite lip colours so um, I have used it a fair bit in the past we're not starting from absolute scratch this is how much product is left so I've marked that in my notebook I'll show you that in the cutaways I'm hopeful that I can finish this up within four months um, it's one of those ones because I really like it, I'm a bit like, oh I don't want to be without it, but I've heard that these go off really quite quickly. I don't think any of mine have ever turned on me yet, but it's not new, I've had it for a reasonable amount of time, so it's probably reaching the end of its life. And as I say, I do really, really like it, so I'd like to get the use out of it whilst it's still good. And I'd also like to have the satisfaction of being able to, like, I finished a lipstick, even though it's a smaller product, grammage wise, than a standard lipstick, but it would still count. So that's what I'm here for. So that is product number one. Product number two is another lip product and it's actually, it's kind of a cheat because it's two products, but they are two minis. Um, so I didn't really feel I could put just one of these in and count it as a full product kind of thing um, because they are so small, but I have had these. So if you're completely new to my channel, I went on a beauty no buy in 2018 for the first year so I've been on a beauty no buy 2018, 2019, 2020 I did a whole year no buy like not just beauty absolutely everything um, and then last year was on a low buy and this year I've been back on a no buy so the only times I've been allowed to shop within those years have been on holiday or last year I did a low buy and I certainly didn't buy these at any point anyway um, so I have I think either had these in my collection since literally 2017 and before, before I've ever started my no buy um, or like they definitely, they, I don't remember these coming into my collection so I, I think basically they're from 2017 or before because they've obviously been like gifts with purchases or whatever so yeah they're pretty old, they've lasted in my collection all this time even being that old and being this small so if I don't put them in a project I'm not going to finish them up but I would like to finish them up. I think I can finish them up. So this one is about half full. This one um, is basically brand new. So I'm hoping in four months to knock both of these out and count them as one item. So fingers crossed. I do have a couple of minis that I am counting as one item and this is one of them is item number three, which is my fresh deep hydration oil infused serum. Now this is a little 20 ml, it's like a biphase one, so if it looks half empty it's not, it is basically full. Um, this is a 20 ml. Now, you might be like, you can't put a mini into a project pad and call it a thing, but I have the full size of this and I got it last year, I got it when I went to London for my birthday in July 2021, so I've had it for li literally like a few days short of a year um, when I'm filming this and I've put it in the cutaway so that you can see the full size is 100ml and I think I've used maybe a fifth of it. The reason for that is because if I use it too often I do get quite blackheady, it's really quite oily and quite rich and um, my skin does really like it, I can always feel that my skin feels softer. 
I just get really congested with it and um, so it's not something that I can use all the time and because of that because it's not a kind of staple just part of my routine I don't kind of think about using it unless my skin feels particularly sort of dehydrated and I'll be like ah, I'll use you and I'll mix you in um, and then notice the difference when I do it so I should actually make a point of being like every you know third night or something I use it but I don't which is why I am going to try and use up this because I feel like if I've used a fifth in a year unless I get into the habit of using this product I'm never finishing the full size and I'm not going to finish this if I'm waiting to finish the full size before I get round to this so I am prioritising this because I feel like I could use this up if not within this project then certainly by the end of this year and that's the good thing about this project is anything I fall slightly short of by the end of October I can still get it into my 2022 empties I'm sure because I do have a goal of finishing 300 items in 2022. I have a quantity driven empties goal for this year and it's quite a big goal so yes yeah, it needs all the help it can get kind of thing and um, so I'm sure I will be able to finish this up if I make the effort by putting it in a project and prioritising it like that so that is why this one's in. Item number four is one that again I've had for a really long time I've actually made really good progress on but when you think about the fact I've had it since pre no so 2017 or older, in fact it's definitely older because I had this when I went to New York in 2016. Um, I remember, you, I, I think I got it for going on that holiday, I think it was in a three for two or something. Um, and that was, the I remember that was the first time I'd used it was on that holiday. So um, I've actually had this since 2016 and as you can see from the mark on the side, it's not finished yet so unless I put this into a project I'm not going to finish it. I don't use a lot of finishing spray which I'm really oily so I probably really should be but it's just a step I don't kind of think to reach for so I'm hoping by putting this in the project I will finish it up. It's not breaking out in anything despite the fact it's definitely definitely expired but I actually got a new setting spray in a goodie bag last year at some point that I've never even opened yet because I got this one so I want to knock this one out so that I can use that. I don't want to have things that are in my collection for years and years and years that's just not where I want to be anymore that's partly why I'm project planning so yeah this is item number four. Item number five is my Kiehl's hand cream. So this is the Kiehl's first class purifying hand treatment. So the starting weight for this one is 62 grams. I feel like I've been putting off using this one because it's just a mental thing that this is their like travel exclusive one. It's supposed to be, you know, kind of germ combating for travel. As if germ combating isn't great all year round, especially pandemic wise. The other side of it is this is quite a lightweight one. So I feel like, especially because we have all been sanitizing and things even more than normal through the last couple of years, I've been reaching for really heavy hand creams. Um, and this just maybe hasn't quite felt like it's cutting the mustard in that sense. So I do want to come back to this one. I got this on holiday. Again, I'm going to say 2016. Like it's so, so old. It's, it's a travel exclusive, you can't just get it in a Kiehl's store and then I do that thing where like A I then only use it travelling which we've obviously not been travelling very much in recent times um, but I also get quite precious about things that I'm like I couldn't just go out and buy that again if I really liked it you know even though that makes very little sense because it's not even my favourite hand cream like if I finished it I don't think I'd be heartbroken to not have it again but somehow the idea of not having the option to just go and be able to buy it in a normal store makes it something that I start preserving and keeping for good which is just ridiculous so um, we're putting it into this and we're going to finish it by Halloween. I am putting two perfumes into this project again really it's one of those ones that actually you don't realise how old certain things are until you think about them but I think again these might be from 2016 you could actually find this out because these are both from the Jo Malone Bloomsbury set collection so I'm sure I could look up when that was released. In fact it might have been 2017. I think it was 2017. Do you know the weird thing is I remember buying these. I was in Glasgow and I bought this collection and then I went to the theatre that night and I remember like I remember the day that I bought them but I can't quite place it. Anyway the point is they're old. The Jo Malone Blue Hyacinth Cologne so this is the one that's more full of the two. 
I don't like my, I don't like marking perfume bottles, so I do just show you these in cutaways, and you can see them over the project side by side as they go down. Um, but particularly this collection, um, the bottles are all designed so that they kind of complement each other and sit nicely together. Um, so I've finished the other three from this collection and these are the last two. So the first one is the Blue Hyacinth and the second is the Whiskey and Cedarwood. So I think the plan is I'll finish this one first because it's more of a sort of summery scent. I don't love this one, I feel like I do need to mix it with I do need to mix it with a sort of woodier um, perfume, but I feel like it will mix quite well with my Santa Maria Novella Tobacco Toscano perfume, so I feel like that will maybe just combat it so it's not quite so floral. This was definitely one of those ones that I bought this because I wanted the whole set. I was definitely in sort of collectory mindset when I bought them. Now, this one I like better, but this thing kind of has become that one that I like this so much better that I've been keeping it for good. I think this was probably my favourite out of the collection actually. Um, but yeah, it, it's getting old so I want to use it while it still smells really really good. Um, so this is the Whiskey and Cedarwood one. So those are the two Jo Malone perfumes that make up the next two items in this project. Item number eight is this from Kiehl's. This is one of their deluxe sample sizes. So it's a 50ml of their oil eliminator refreshing shine control toner for men, um, which I think I stole from my ex at some point. As you can see, I've had this in previous projects because it does have previous markings on it. But again, it falls into what I've said about so many things. If I don't put this in a project, I clearly don't use it because I've marked it from whenever I've had it in a project, which I think this was maybe in a 2020 summer project. So there's the last marking from that project and then that's how much I've then used in two years until I picked it up again for this project. So definitely needs to be in a project to get used up. Clearly I wouldn't repurchase it because I don't even reach for it if I'm not thinking about reaching for it but I do think this is maybe one of the ones that if I take it into work and just sit at my desk I'll be able to move through it fairly quickly. So yeah I'm hopeful that we can knock this out without too many issues. The next item is a hair product. It's from Davines and it's their Oi Hair Butter. There is 155 grams of product in this at the start of the project. This is another product that I am weighing because you kind of can't really see through, no, you can't really see through the top. You definitely can't see through the top, it's just black. Um, so there are 155 grams of this at the start of the project. This is a hair mask, but it's really, it's quite a heavy one. And for use on fine hair, which I have fine hair, you actually put it on dry. So I feel like the problem I have with this is that a lot of my hair masks obviously, if I'm thinking I want to use like a deep conditioning mask, the majority of the ones that I have like that, you would wash your hair then use them in place of conditioner and um, that you're just, you know, leaving them on for longer or whatever. So even if I sort of plan for that, if I wash my hair then reach for a mask, um, this one is not great, it's not recommended to be used like that on my hair type. So I need to remember to use this first, um, which is why I think this one always kind of slips to the bottom of getting used. So yeah, I'm gonna try and make the concerted effort to finish this up within this project. I have got two body lotions in this project. The first one is from Nooks and it's actually, I'm calling it a body lotion now. Technically it's an after sun body lotion. I am not a summer holidays kind of person. I don't go out in the sun. I don't enjoy lying around in the sun. You know, that's that's not the kind of holiday I would ever go on. But obviously it does get sunnier even in Scotland. Not wonderfully sunny. I certainly wouldn't come here if you were looking uh, to get a tan. But obviously the weather does get a little bit better in the sort of months that we're in just now. So I thought if there's ever an appropriate time to use this up, it's, it's the summer months at home, so that's why I'm putting this in to start using it now. It is brand new, um, I got it in the Cult Beauty SPF box that I bought earlier this year um, to replace my SPFs when they had run out, and you get kind of other complimentary products basically, so this is the after sun that was in that box, and I'd like to finish it in this project, even though it's, it's brand new, there's 100 mils slash 121 grams, obviously the weight includes the packaging, but yeah, I'm sure I can get this used up. 
And the other body lotion that I've got is actually a perfume related product. So this is the Gucci Guilty Body Lotion. It's a 50 ml and the weight of this one is 49 grams to start with. I might have used this once but I've definitely not used it. I have the, the corresponding perfume to this. I got like a gift set that had this and the perfume in it. And I do like it but it's, it's not one that I would go out and repurchase. I don't absolutely love it. So basically what happened is I took the perfume into work because it's quite a sort of non-offensive scent. So I was using the perfume up in work and I realised I need enough to finish the perfume but I've still got this body lotion so I feel like I need to actually make an effort to use this. Either use it last thing at night before I go to bed so that I can then put whatever perfume I want on in the morning um, or make an effort to use this when I'm using the perfume. Um, so I have, I've brought the perfume home I'll obviously be taking one of the ones from this project pan and in place of it into work anyway so that works out quite well um, and ideally I'd quite like to use this with the perfume and use the two of them up together so the perfume's not officially in this because there's not a lot left so I feel like that's a really boring product to, to put in it but the body lotion is so I would like to finish this up within the project and by proxy finish the perfume that is the plan The penultimate item, item number 12, is a face powder. So as you can see, I already have pan in this, so I'm starting from a reasonable point. I don't know if I can finish this up in four months, but I'm gonna give it our best shot. So that is the starting point for this. It's from By Terry, and it's their Compact Expert Jewel Powder. This is the shade Ivory Fair. I really, really like these powders, but as you can see, so it's a kind of, it's obviously, it's a, a jewel, but the middle's, sort of almost like a highlight. Wait, I'll swatch it. It's not like super, super shimmery, but it's kind of designed that that could be like more of a highlight on its own, whereas then the, the powder around the outside. I think they call it matte, but I would say it's, it's got a sheen to it. It's a really, really beautiful powder. See if they just sold this outside powder on its own or the, if the whole compact was just the outside powder. I would 100% repurchase this. I think it's beautiful, but because I've got a highlight in my main project pan, I've not been reaching for it as much. So what I'll need to do is just get a big brush and be like swirling it together and just making it more of a sort of shimmery powder than it is. Um, and I'm sure it'll be fine and I'll, I'll still, I'll enjoy using it. Um, but I would just like to get it knocked out since I've got a fairly big pan in it. I feel like it'll be one that we'll see nice progress on each month. So I feel like it'll be a visually pleasing one to have in the project. And then the last product, again, is one that is super old in my collection, and it's another mini, and it's the Kiehl's Cilantro and Orange Extract Pollution Defending Mask. This is brand new, there's 38 grams of product in here, and I actually have the full size of this as well, but I think because it's a pollution product, it's not one that I think to reach for very often in terms of like, I don't think, oh my skin's quite congested, I'll use a pollution defendant. I would, I would think like, oh, my skin's quite congested. I'll use like a sort of acid-based mask to move the congestion along or maybe like a mud mask to try and pull it out. Or if my skin was feeling quite dry, I'd reach for a hydrating mask. Like, I feel like I never think to use a pollution mask. So yeah, I've had this in my collection again since like 2017 or before, um, along with the full size that I've had that same amount of time. So. I'm hoping, again, by putting the mini in this project, it gets me into the habit of using it. If I finish up the mini, then great, I get the mini for my overall year's empties, but if it gets me into the habit of using it, I'll then hopefully also finish through the full size that I've got. So that is the plan for this last item. So those are all my products in my 13 by Halloween project pan. So thank you very much for watching the intro. As I say, I'll be updating the markings at the end of every month and then filming the video, obviously, kind of maybe the first Saturday thereafter. So it'll probably be the second video of the month for the next couple of months um, after my main Project Pan update. So if you do like Project Pan content, please do hit the subscribe button. There's a fair amount of it coming your way in the next few months. Thank you very much for watching this one and I will see you in my next video. Bye.